the scripture saying without faith it is impossible to please God It's a very short word, but this is the only way how we can relate to God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is the only way how we can relate to spiritual realm. So it was wonderful about Abraham. What was wonderful about Abraham? That when God told him that he to go leave his country, his, his family, and go, he saw immediate obedience in the life of this man. In the life of Abraham, faith and obedience always go together. And he didn't know yet where he is going, but God told him later on that he will give him the land that his descendants will be as the stars in the sky and and abraham was not shy to ask lord you have given me all these promises but i don't have even the heir, the heir of my house is this servant which is in my house. But God said, no, this child, this son will be coming from between your loins and it will be son of the Sarah. And there, Abraham believed, and he waited. He waited for 25 years for the son of the promise come when, in natural, it was like no way they could have a child. Sarah was 90, he was almost 100. But this is how God works. As Dr. Gobel was talking about miracles, this is, was a miracle child, child of the promise. And after 24 years, because of faith, again, we're coming back to that little word, faith, because Sarah had the faith, together with Abraham, she was able to conceive and give a birth to Isaac. Mm. He had one of the tests, last test, when Isaac was born. Lord required him, he told him to go to the mouth of Horeb or Moriah? Moriah. Moriah. And sacrifice the son of the promise. You can imagine what night Abraham spent thinking about and putting together everything with, with God's promises, with uh, his uh, son, which he already was given and born. Uh, Isaac, by this time, was already uh, not a small child. 
Uh, but God required him to go and sacrifice him. So he took his servants, he took Isaac, and he approached that mountain and he said, Wait, to, he said to the servants, Wait here when I'm when we will come back ladies don't miss that moment when abraham went on the mountains and carrying that wood which they need for sacrifice he said wait here to his servants when we come back meaning that he and his son he you can translate that So in that moment, when uh, Abraham raised a knife, he put Isaac, he raised a knife, and he was about to fulfill God's requirement, and he heard a voice, Abraham, Abraham, do not harm the young man, because... I'm sorry we've interrupted you. No, it's all right. That I'll goes to them over there. Okay. I'm sorry. He heard a voice, and which uh, was saying, "Do not harm the lad." In this verses, we don't see whole picture of what's happened. This whole drama on the uh, Mount of Moriah with Isaac, with Abraham, with all the promises of God given to him through all these years, Angel. and all the hopes which he had. And at this moment, Abraham saw the lamb caught in the ticket, and of course that was a sacrifice but the main thing what he heard that God will provide God will provide, provide. and yeah. who are we talking about when God uh, was said to Abraham God will provide us when we have a hard time God will provide Dr. Gogo open your eyes <laughs> And that's exactly what God did by providing his own son. That was the first uh, which you can hear in every language. For the God so loved the world that he gave mm. his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. This verse you can hear in so many thousand languages I mean. translated because God did provide. And who was that lamb which he provided? Who was that lamb, Sidra? You can translate what I said, but then you can answer a question if you don't mind. Kurbani. Who was that for a provision? How God provided that way of salvation? 
and promises to Abraham. He saw by faith the, win, uh, the one who didn't come yet, but he saw by faith the one who will be coming. Who God will provide for salvation of the people. It will be none less than Esau Masih. He is a God's provision. So now I would like to read some scripture which uh, Lord was given to Jewish believers, those who were persecuted, who, those who were uh, rejected from the synagogues, those who understood and um, they uh, saw Esau Messiah ro uh, ro uh, when he rose from the dead. But as something happened at the certain point, that they started to fall away and they started to doubt his uh, their salvation. was a Hebrew believers and this letter was written to them and I'm reading the verses you can translate me by verse by verse take care brethren that there not be in any one of you evil unbelieving heart unbelief is evil in the heart of the Lord evil in unbelieving heart that falls away from the living God. Living. And it was saying to these Hebrew believers, so that none of you will be hardened by deceitfulness of sin. So you see how the uh, God sees unbelief, unbelief in his promises, unbelief what he's saying in his word, unbelief is evil in the, uh, in the sight of the Lord. And Abraham didn't have that evil, unbelieving heart. This is a true faith of Abraham. By faith, when he was sacrificing his son Isaac, and when he was stopped, he saw Masik coming. He saw by faith that God will bring salvation through his son. And that was fulfilled in the time of Romans time when Esau Masih came through the virgin birth. It happened exactly on God's time. Exactly on his schedule, because it's mm. saying, in this last day, last days which we are living, God, meaning God, has spoken to us in his Son. This is the last word of God to humanity. Is his Son and through his Son, whom he appointed of heir of all things, through whom also, he made the world, and he is the radiance of his glory and exact representation of his nature, and to whom are uh, given all the judgment, all the judgment of the world was given to Son. So ladies, when you come in here, 
and you truly would like to know the truth, you should cry out to the Lord and ask him, Lord, I would like really to follow the truth and know the truth. I don't want to be deceived. I don't want to follow the deceit or lies. Please show me the truth. And I'm sure that if that will be honest cry of your heart, God will show himself mighty as he does all over the world. And the fastest growing right now appearances of God in the country which the most persecution happened in Iran to Muslim people, Isa al Masih showing himself mighty. Amen. The signs, wonders, and miracles. Isa al Masih, I pray that it's happened here too in your life. Thank you.